whether you're into shoes or you're just trying to start your collection, I wanna highlight a pair of sneakers right here that I think you can get for an affordable price and I think they're absolutely fantastic. Welcome to Cats and Dogs to another episode of Fink and Sneaks. Today we'll be going over the Air Jordan 12th in the filled purple colorway. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to catch all the content we have on this channel. At the end of the video, make sure you leave a comment below if you bang with it. I actually was going to get these for retail, waited and got it for a better price, and now I'm like, yo, like, this is crazy. Y'all make sure y'all check me out on all the social media platforms, I'm everywhere, but like, let's hop into this review. Now we're going to start off with the box. This is a regular Jordan 12 box. It gives me very nice retro vibes. Like this reminds me of something that I would have probably had as a kid. And seeing though I had 12s as a kid, Obsidians. I can actually say that. Air Jordan 12 retro, black fill purple. That's kind of straightforward, it really is. Size 13, big feet gang salute. Big feet gang salute. Big feet gang salute. You know how I do. Retail for these with 200 bucks. But well, I didn't spend that. This is like a Stillington. 10, 10, 10. My two favorite colors are purple and green. Fingers Sneaks hoodie is purple and black. I wanted these off rip, but I did want to pay $200 for them knowing that I was going to go for other shoes that month. So I waited. A lot of GR Jordans are going on sale a month or two months after for 30 to 40% off. I took the gamble in 2023 on these. Two months later, they were on sale. I copped. I've just been doing so many videos. I just haven't showed them. But I've been loving these from afar, and now I hope you can appreciate what I'm about to try to explain with you. Opening up this box, you're greeted with regular paper, but right past that paper. This shoe, like, okay, if you so happen to have a school colored team uniform and it's black and purple, well, I don't know what you're doing if you're not going to grab these. But, this is like a take on a bunch of stuff that makes the shoe cooler than just being on sale. Talking about iconic color blocking. Flu Game 12s are black and red. This is the same color blocking, just about purple. I am on the record saying that if you did this with almost any color, I would probably cop. I believe we got black and yellow 12s either in 2023 or 2022. And that's, I mean, I had that pair, I didn't keep it. But yeah, I wanted it because it's so iconic and I think 12s are slept on. 12s are so nice. They're good for basketball, they're good for casual. They're beautiful. I love the, how this looks. I just absolutely love how this looks, okay? That checked something off in my mind, boom. Then my favorite color is purple, boom. This is one that won't check a box for me, but might check a box for someone else. This is essentially a general release version of the Gary Payton PE exclusive 12s that he used to wear when he played ball in and he played for the Lakers when he had them. So Laker fans might want this more. I'm not a Laker fan. I actually absolutely hate the Lakers outside of Kobe Bryant. But that would might that just might uh, appeal to somebody else. But I just love the way 12s look and the aesthetic. The on sale part is just cherry on top. Starting off, and I'm not going to say the top of your shoe, but the upper of your shoe is this nice tumble leather in all black. What's so iconic about the 12 is your midsole kind of just goes into your mud guard. So essentially where you see that field purple at, I actually used to call it court purple, but I guess for this one it's field purple. Maybe that's more of a Laker hue and purple or whatever. You'll see your mud guard in your midsole in this purple pebble leather. Now your midsole actually has some foam in there for support and your outsole is a rubber traction outsole. This is very simple to be quite honest. You can also see the little gold and black jags right there. That is obviously more Laker inspired. But the shoe is super, super clean. Customary cool details on your 12s, like a purple Jumpman for this one, two written out in purple, and then the number three underneath for 23 is what you get on this shoe. But you also get Jumpman golden lace locks on this shoe that gives it more of a royalty Laker feel. On the back right here, you get a hill tab with a Jumpman right there in gold. You also get Jordan and quality from the best player of all time. Is that what this says? I always forget. Quality inspired by the greatest player ever, not best player of all time. It's the same thing. This is, this is without debate. 23 belongs to Jordan. I just think the shoe is super clean. And like I said, if they come out with a dark green version, the substitute for the purple, or they come out with a light green version, I'm probably going to cop. So... Me wanting this the whole time and then getting it for 30% off, it's just something that I think more people should probably pay attention to. 
I already said this in another video, but if you like the Orch, I can't spell it, O-C-C-H-R-E, O-C-H-R-E, those yellow ones that just dropped in January, my boy hit, I think they're super clean, but people got Jordan fatigue, and we know they're going to hit outlets. They're still sitting on the app. So instead of paying 170 for those, wait, you might be able to get them for 130 or 140 And I think that that should be a bigger practice right now, especially if you want to just start a dope collection, try out a new silhouette, and then boom, later on, if you like it, you'll buy them more for retail. I'm just saying, you don't have to pay resale to have what people want to deem as hyped or cool. Whether someone likes this shoe or not, I love it, and it was on sale. And I think we should just take notice of that more often. Great, I would actually give this shoe a 10 out of 10. I'm not even joking. Go look up this shoe in other colors. Look up this shoe in Gamma Blue. Look up the shoe in Black and Red, the flu games. They go for so much money. Instead of going to buy flu games for 600 bucks or 500 bucks, I got these for a buck 40, and I actually like the color better. I just think that we need to think about shoes in a different way of hype is important. No, sometimes something on sale might be cooler. I might want to give this a bigger grade because I got it on sale. I actually won't do that, but I mean, I also really can't, you can't really go higher than a 10 out of 10. But they are true to size, they're comfortable, they're affordable. And like I said, you can probably still go get them on sale on a Nike app. So if you're starting out your collection, whether you're a teenager or adult, whatever the case may be, consider this as a new shoe. If I start buying some of these shoes, I might put this in a specific playlist online, where it's like shoes on a budget or something. If y'all want me to find some nickname for this type of shoe, when I cop these shoes, let me know, and I might just make it a series. Once a month, just highlighting the most affordable, nice shoe that I think I copped. But I just wanted to talk about one shoe that I think that we all should probably give more attention to. It wouldn't shock me in a couple years when these are all, you know, dried out of circulation. I start seeing them hover up 300, 400, 500 bucks. And at that time, I'm gonna be like, I'm happy I copped you for it. For under retail. This counterbalances me in another video that'll probably come out around the same time where every shoe I bought there was a uh, resale. But let me know in the comments below if you found any great finds, great finds, not great lines. And not just, I mean, if they're used, they're used, but any new shoe that you just got on sale for a good price because some site had a $25 off ticket or something. Because maybe I need to know about that website so I can cop stuff. But until the next video, I'ma holla at you. Bye bye. Super, super clean, not a Lakers fan, color blocking awesome. Bye bye. And if you don't like 12s, what are you doing? I wear these like boots in the winter and I'm, 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 I should start hooping again. <laughs>